Okay. Um, at some point, you and Michael reconnected. He was doing, you know, the bad music video. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He called me and wanted to use my best friend at the time, Greg Burge, to choreograph his uh, his bad video. So I put them two together. But, you know, also my ex-husband, uh, Jeffrey Daniel, taught Michael the moonwalk. Hold on. Because I was going to get to Jeffrey Daniels. I'm gonna, uh, you're telling me Jeff is the one who taught. You know how many people take credit for teaching Mike how to moonwalk? I know, but I was there at the rehearsals. It was Jeffrey and some of his friends that used to pop lock and dance together. And they taught Michael all of that. And you saw it with your own eyes? I saw it with my own eyes, yeah. Wow. Okay, you whispered something to Michael on that set. Do you remember what it was? Did I? How do you know that? I do my research, Miss <laughs> Stephanie. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> you you act like you ain't even know what I was talking about. You know I, know I did exactly my interview. I know exactly what you was talking research. about. I know exactly. And I remember exactly what I said to him. But you're not going to tell me. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to take it to it my like grave. To reconnect? Because y'all had not seen each other in what, like 10 years? Yeah, we point. hadn't seen each other in a while. I hadn't seen each other in a while. And that was the first time I saw him and he looked so different. And I whispered something in his ear. And, and, and that is an understatement. He, <laughs> he did look different. <laughs> this is, now we're talking about white Mike. Yes. So... Yes, we are. <laughs> okay, so Mike had become everything he always wanted to be by that time. This is the bad album. Yes. Thriller had came, and, you know, to this day, it's probably the most sold album of all time. Yeah, and they didn't even, they didn't even celebrate the anniversary of Thriller on the Grammys or the mm. American Music Awards. You're right. Look how quickly they throw you away and you become, you become nothing like, you know, with everything that he contributed to the industry. Mm -hmm. They don't even celebrate him. And he should be You're celebrated. Right. He should be. Natalie Cole should be celebrated. See, Sammy Davis Jr. Now. should be celebrated. They celebrate Elvis. They celebrate all these other people. You're so right. You're they so should be right. celebrated. They contributed a lot to this industry, made this industry a lots of money, changed the game in lots of ways. When Natalie did that song with her father side by side, that was incredible. She should be remembered. She should be talked about. Yep. You're, you're, you're so right. I mean, I, it's nothing I can say. You're so right. Huh. Okay. Um, first and foremost, when Mike did reach out to you, were you surprised? No. Because at that time, he was on a, he, he's, he's in a different stratosphere at that point. Yeah, no, I so wasn't surprised. You, I wasn't surprised. No. No, because Michael and I had a connection of a friendship that no one will ever be able to take away or, or we really connected. So I wasn't surprised that he reached out to me because even after that, we were all on um, that island that they opened that hotel uh, in Jamaica, I think it was. Is that Atlantis? Yes. We all went to the opening of Atlantis. And I was doing a rehearsal and someone came to me and said, Michael, want to see you. I didn't go to see him because I was rehearsing. And then after I rehearsed, I forgot about it. So I often think about that. Like, what, what, did, he, what did he want at that time? I think about that. Mm -hmm. Do you think, because both of you guys were young when you were dating. Yes. Neither one of you had reached 
the, the, the apex of your careers. Neither one of you had gone to, to where we know that both of you went. Yes. Do you think Mike sat and looked and said, wow, Stephanie's doing her thing. As you dropping hit after hit after hit, do you think he sat there and was like, I, I knew she was dope and I knew she had it in her, but I'm so proud of this woman because she, 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 she's doing her thing. I don't know. I think he probably did. I think he probably was like, I'm proud of you. I'm this because he appreciates talent and he appreciates people that worked really hard at their talent, not just sit, and, you know, lazy and but, you know, did the work. So he probably mm -hmm. I'm sure he wished me well and was proud. I think I'd like to think so. I really don't know. So you don't know if Mike was ever. Sitting there listening with Lisa Marie or one of them other women to some of your music, thinking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> he could have been. He could have been. He probably was sitting there listening. I should have married her. I'm sitting uh, here. No, you know, I, I don't know. He probably, I don't know. I don't know. Mike would like to. Were you blowing up and if I was your woman, <laughs> Mike is listening to that. <laughs> I don't know. That would be funny. I don't know. <laughs>